Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of November. Now keep in mind, this could resonate at any time in November, and this reading may not be for you, so it may not resonate at all, okay? So what do we got for Libra? This card just came flying out. Cracked cup, a dissatisfaction with life. So you may be feeling dissatisfied. I don't know, maybe things feel messy. Um, heart, love, deep affection and caring. That one came out as well. So you may be di feeling dissatisfied with matters of the heart. I did just happen to look on the bottom. I have box. You will be receiving a gift. So you will be receiving a gift. This is for any time in November. So what do we have for Libra? I think you're feeling dissatisfied with matters of the heart. That's what it looks like to me. But what do we have for Libra? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Oh, we had two cards that fell out. Ooh. Unrequited love. So we got some we got we got a, a cat that loves a dog, but a dog that doesn't reciprocate. Okay. And then we have unfaithful. So we have somebody here that is being unfaithful. So maybe that's why you're feeling dissatisfied. Um, oh, another card just fell off. Independently owned and operated. Maybe that's where you're at or that's where you're going to be. All right. There's definitely some sort of unrequited love situation here where there's a lack of reciprocation or you're feeling very alone, you know, or there's something with uh, a loss of a partner, you know, with that ring coming off, you know, maybe you've just become independently owned and operated, you know. Um, and you're feeling dissatisfied with life. Um, there's, there's, uh, I feel like there's loneliness. There's feeling alone. I think there, you're in a situation where, you know, there's a lack of reciprocation or you're just dissatisfied. Um, what do we have for Libra? The magician, the magician. You can manifest the life you want. What you need will magically appear. Successful beginnings. So this is new beginnings, right? You have the power, you're in a position of power. Um, as above, so below, you can manifest the life you want, but I just have to remind you that you can't put a name on it. You can't say I want so-and-so, it doesn't work like that. Okay, that, that would be like black magic, okay? You can't do something against somebody's will, all right? You can be open. You can be open to the universe and you can, you know, manifest what you want without uh, putting a, a person's name on it. You, can, you have the power right now to manifest the life that you want. You have a new beginning here. You do. You have a high awareness. You're highly awakened. Use your gift. Use your use your ability. Use your ability to manifest, you know, wish fulfillment. But make sure that you're open-minded. You're not centered on one thing. Okay. Ace of Wands, first card out. Now this is exciting. This is a seed. This is a seed that is sprouting or a seed that is being planted. This is an exciting new beginning. So this is a month where something is starting to sprout. Seven of Cups is your challenge right on top of it. I feel like you have many options. You do. You need to really pay attention. Pay attention to your choices because there's consequences for your choices. I feel like you're having a difficult time making a choice. I think you probably have many, many options. I feel like uh, 
there's some sort of confusion here. Beware of false beginnings, okay? Beware of false beginnings. Make sure that you are choosing wisely, okay? Make sure that you're choosing wisely. You may have a new partner here that is that you are very attracted to that you need to be careful of, okay? Ace of Pentacles is the basis of the situation. Behind you is the King of Pentacles reverse. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in your past. Above you is the Moon. So that's right now, the presently, the moon, all is not as it seems. There are hidden forces here. The future is the four of cups, the near future. Uh, down in your advice is the nine of pentacles. Yeah, independently owned and operated. F focus on yourself right now. I feel like you have a lot to offer. You uh, should be enjoying your life. You should be grateful for all that you have, and I think that you are. Uh, for some of you, you may be thinking about becoming independent or you are becoming independent. Maybe you've been with somebody that is unfaithful. Um, your outside influence is the two of wands reverse. So whoever you are dealing with, um, I feel like there's something that is hidden with that moon card. Somebody is hiding something. Maybe they're hiding another partner or they're, they're exploring... Uh, elsewhere because uh, whenever I see that card I think the grass is greener on the other side but it's really not anyhow um ace of cups in your hopes and fears and death reversed in your outcome Let me get another card for that so devil reverse this is a disaster this is a disaster, devil and death together. You're in some sort of toxic situation that you need to break free from. And it feels like you're having a hard time letting go. That's with the death reversed, okay? Um, you need to break free from something that you are tied to, that you are bound to. It's like you're struggling to release it. You're struggling. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Could be dealing with a Scorpio. You also have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. You have Pisces. You have Cancer. Um... I feel like right now there's discontent. I, well, in the near future, this is and it's this is looking right at your seven of cups. So I feel like you're ignoring an opportunity for love. I feel like you have or an opportunity for happiness. It feels like you're you're focusing on some sort of loss. Um, I see discontent. I see that you're discontent. You're probably missing an opportunity. It feels like you want love. I feel like you have a lot of love to offer. But there's some sort of delusion. Presently, the moon is in your present position. The moon is, if you take a look from the behind, I mean, she looks like she's young and beautiful. But when she looks in the mirror, she's not. All is not as it seems. What you see is not what you get. And I think that presently, you're having a hard time determining. There's confusion in the Seven of Cups as well, determining what is real and what is not. I feel like there's some sort of delusion here. There's some sort of confusion over, you know, what is real and, and what is not. And I'm sorry to say that. I think that you are dealing with somebody that is very much focused on money. They're focused on stability and security. That's where the, that whoever you're dealing with in the, is not really focused on a relationship. They may be too focused on their career or they do things illegal, you know, or they don't have a lot to offer. They're just not interested in a relationship. That would be the King of Pentacles reversed in the past. This is somebody who's not committed. They're not really committed. They are unfaithful. Okay, this is unfaithful. So somebody has been unfaithful. Um, and I feel like you want something stable. You want something solid. You know, the basis of this reading is the Ace of Pentacles, which is investment. It's about stability, security, um, abundance. I feel like uh, you're manifesting right now. You definitely have a strong ability to manifest. You should be manifesting new love. You should be manifesting somebody that, this is new and the Ace of Cups is new, okay? You need to look deeper, okay? You need to look deeper at your illusions and fantasies. Make sure that you're not in fantasy land. Now we have major new beginnings here. We have three, or we actually have four. We have one in the Magician, one in the Ace of Wands, one in the Ace of Pentacles, and one in the Ace of Cups.
Okay, one, 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 instant manifestation. So this is definitely a time of manifestation. You have the power, you have the tools right now. You're highly intuitive at this time, okay? Your thoughts become things. So whatever you think, you're manifesting, but, but you can't put a name on it. And I need to reiterate that because you'll be wasting your energy by doing that. Your thoughts become things. Your thoughts are becoming things. Your thoughts are manifesting at this time. You have multiple options. You do. You have multiple options. It feels like you're, you're pining. You're pining over something with the Four of Cups. It's like you're pining over one option when you have other options available. You're not looking deeper. You're looking only at the surface. You're not seeing what is real. There's some sort of illusion here. Two of Wands reversed in your outside influence. That's fear of the unknown. It's indecisive. I, you know, I feel like you're restricting yourself. You're, re, you're, you're, you, or somebody has pushed you away. They've pushed you away. You know, they've, they, they've been holding you back. They've been holding you back. Somebody's been holding you back. You, you, you're stuck. You're stuck. There's somebody here that is causing your indecision. All you want is love. You have a lot of love to offer. Um, you do have a new... Some of you may be hoping for a reconciliation with somebody, you know, or you're hoping for, for love, but I feel like you're holding on to a dead end. That's the devil reversed and the death reversed. That's, a, that's holding on to a dead end, holding on to something that is toxic and unhealthy, where there's no reciprocation. It's unrequited love. You have an opportunity for new love here. You do. It feels like you're, you're hoping and praying for love, but you're trying to manifest somebody that doesn't really care. Six of Swords reversed. That's unwilling to take a new approach. That's, 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 that is. This is somebody that is unwilling to take a new approach. You, you have to, okay? This is, re, this is refusing to move on. It feels like you're refusing to move on from a situation. Staying stuck. That's exactly what this is. It's like you're stuck in a troubled mindset with an individual that is holding you back. It's like I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. This is it's King of Swords reversed next to that moon. King of Swords reversed is not being logical. Illusion, fantasy. Um all is not as it seems. There's there, you need to you need to wake up. You need to look at things from a new perspective. I feel like you're struggling to look at something from a new perspective. You may be getting some information or you may be dealing with somebody that is very, very harsh. I think that you're dealing with a liar. You're dealing with somebody that doesn't care, that is very cold, very cold. You got the moon next to the king of swords reverse. You got some, or maybe it's you that, I mean, if you're the cross watcher, it could be your Libra that is cold. There is somebody here that is in the dark energy. This person is, is, is feeding some sort of illusion. I mean, the king of swords reverse is not very intelligent or it's somebody that isn't using their head. They're not being logical um, or they're very, very cold. Could be abusive. It could be even some mental with the moon, moon and king of swords reverse. This could be somebody that has some sort of, uh, mental imbalance or something like this, or just doesn't care, very cold-hearted, abusive, non-caring. Um, rude, 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 rude. Okay, so we got somebody here that I also feel like we have somebody that's not really using their head. 
Four of Pentacles just fell out. This is obsessed, holding on, holding on to something. And I feel like it's really hard to let go. I feel like it is hard to let go of something that you have had in your hands at one time. Um, I feel like you're dealing with somebody that's lacks integrity. They keep a lot of secrets. I feel uh, with that moon card next to the king of swords reversed could be a pisces or a cancer or a libra gemini aquarius this is somebody that is hiding something they have a lot of secrets they don't care who they hurt this person is abusive um very cold hearted um dark dark energy um but you have a new beginning here you definitely do with all these ones you have a new beginning but you have to focus on the future you, and you need to focus on self-love with that Ace of Cups and the Nine of Pentacles. Your advice is to focus on yourself, focus on your independence, focus on who you are, be grateful for what you have. I feel like you should be enjoying life. You've come a long way. Your perseverance has paid off. You're strong. You're independent. You know, um, you have a lot. You have a lot to offer. You know, know your value, know your worth. I think that you need to break free. I think it's hard. I think that I think that it's really hard. Uh, holding on is getting old. This is a uh, if you, things are only going to get worse if you don't break free. That's the devil reversed next to the death card reversed. I feel like you you you're suffering. You're suffering. You're in some sort of pain because you have to break free. You have to sever ties. This is not healthy. It's not healthy at all. And I feel like self-love is really, 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 really important. And if you think about ones, people want to bring it into fantasy. You know, they have they see that 11-11 and they go right into fantasy land, right? Okay, instant, pew, I'm going to bank this into fantasy. One is a single number, okay? One is independent. It's not a two. Even with two ones, it's, it's still not a two, okay? One is independent, okay? So I feel like you need to take action to bring success to yourself, okay? Uh, focus on self-love, focus on yourself. The Knight of Pentacles is about self, okay? Um, you're still breaking free from a situation. You know, maybe you've experienced an ending recently or and obviously there's an ending here or you're experiencing, right, experiencing it right now and now you need to focus on yourself, okay? You need to be, be focusing on what's real and what's not, okay? Because it's interesting because we have the moon mirroring the ace of pentacles. The moon is illusion, okay? It's ruled by the shadow. What you see is not what you get. I mean, the shadow is completely not real, okay? I can make a duck on the wall with my hands. It's actually my hands, okay? It's mirror. Okay, so the, the moon is mirroring the ace of pentacles so this is illusion fantasy confusion reality stability security the truth you know so you got you got illusion versus reality okay what's it and this is looking in a mirror what's it gonna be so i feel like you're i feel like you need to look deeper you need to look at the reality you need you, and i feel like the the king of swords reverse is not accepting the truth okay i feel like you're in some sort of illusion over somebody that you're dealing with that you know maybe you just don't want this person to leave or you don't want this person to go anywhere or you're not going anywhere i definitely see stuck two of wands reverse next to the six of swords reverse that was that's stuck okay this is these both are stuck okay you're stuck it's like you're stuck it's like you're I don't know if you're waiting for them to come back or you're refusing to move on or you don't want them to leave or I mean this is a reality check it is a reality check so I feel like and the magician is about taking action being willing to shed the old to bring success I feel like this is a month where you're going to be dealing with some severing ties you know or working on your self-love uh, devil reversed is suffering. It is suffering right next to death. This it hurts. It hurts. I feel like it really, 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 really hurts. Um, you're probably in your emotions. You're going to be in your emotions. Uh, this is like a, a deep, dark place with the devil reversed. Um, you need to break free. Oh, God. Maybe it's an addiction. 
There, is, there could be an addiction here there, or an obsession. You know, there's some, there could be. Um, holding on is getting old with that death card. Holding on to this situation is getting old. You need to break free. You need to break free. You do. We need to break free from something. Out of self-love. Out of self-love for yourself. Whoever you're dealing with is unfaithful or there's unrequited love and they're exploring their options. Somebody may be having sex with somebody else. Ace of Wands next to the Seven of Cups. Maybe you know it and you're in denial about it. Trying to give them something that they don't want, you know? It's like, maybe it's almost like trying to buy love. If somebody, I feel like there's... <coughs> I'm sorry, I have a, a cold. Somebody is trying to buy love. Four of, four of cups in the future, not interested. We have somebody here that's not interested. They're not really interested. Two of cups. There's a new opportunity for love here. There is. New. With these ones. Ones are new beginnings. And then we have the two of cups. I feel like somebody is trying to give you an opportunity for a partnership. But you're ignoring it. You're ignoring it because you're focusing on somebody that you are tied to. Because of some sort of illusion. There is somebody that is going to be giving you an offer. This is another option. This is a, a secure option, a real option, a stable option. But you're reluctant. I see that you're reluctant to take it. Take it. I feel like who are, this is like from a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like you're getting an offer from a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Now, this could be, you know, I don't know what this offer is. May have to do with moving. I don't want to move, you know. I feel like we have commitment issues. We have a relationship that is no longer on the same page. We have the hero font reversed. There could be a, a separation here, even maybe even a divorce. Maybe even somebody has received poor counsel. This is some sort of disgrace. There could be some embarrassment here. Um, we have a we have somebody here that is being controlled by a father figure or by society that is questioning their authority this is somebody that, that isn't very spiritual or doesn't believe in a higher power that doesn't believe in consequences there is some sort of consequences here because the seven of cups is consequences as well anyhow i do believe that we have some and this is unfaithful i think we have somebody here that has been unfaithful and it's like i don't want to believe it i just don't want to believe it there's some sort of illusion or somebody has, has gone through, maybe there's been a funeral, I don't know, we have death and we have the hero font reversed, or you know, maybe something has ended, you know, and it's hard to accept, it's really hard to accept that it's over. I feel like you have an opportunity to partner up with somebody new, but you're reluctant to do so because you're so scared, you know, maybe you, you feel like you're... Uh, Oh, what's the word for it? guilty guilty for committing to a new path anyhow I feel like this is a month where you're gonna be I feel like there's a realization something that has been hidden uh, because we have unrequited love and unfaith when we had that moon card there's some sort of secrets maybe it's it's a realization you know some it, it definitely could be you also have a new opportunity here for a new exciting beginning i mean with all these ones you do you're going to be getting an opportunity or you have an opportunity for new beginnings here but these last two cards i mean this is severing ties from a toxic situation or an unhealthy situation i feel like uh there's been some stagnation there's been indecision i think that you've been held back you've been holding yourself back from breaking free so I feel like, I mean, things could get worse. This could be anxiety and depression, you know? Despair from holding on to something that is over. So I feel like this is a month of focusing on yourself. 
self-love. Good luck.